Well, there's always a little extra motivation for a team playing in front of their home fans. And the Heat definitely looked motivated as they came into the building. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. In the backcourt, it's the stars, Young and Murray. Bogdanovich out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Heat, Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four spot. Believe it or not, the regular season is almost over, Greg, for teams that are out of the playoff picture. What's important now? Well, I, I think, Kevin, first you need to self-evaluate. You know, check out your roster. Who do you keep? Who do you let go? And then once you figure that out, you start thinking about which guys to bring in. And that one Trey drops. Young. Lots of contact on Trey Young, but he battles right through it. Passes it to Autobahn. Kicks it to Robinson. Knocked away and stolen by Murray. Out to the wing. Capella, the pass to Hunter. Hangs home the trifecta. Superb communication between Hunter and his teammates. They set him up so well. Outside Robinson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Trey Young. Yeah, easy call. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but, boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. Steve, thinking back to the 2018 draft, Atlanta made a trade that day with major ramifications. Kevin, yes, they did. At the core of it, it was Young for Doncic. It might have been easy to second guess at first, but Young has had an enormous impact on the Hawks. And both free throws, good for Ogier. Year in and year out, Smitty, the Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture, and they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Young inside. Rozier defending. Shots good from Young. Even though he'll never be big, Trey Young plays bigger than many thought he would. Here's Rozier. Back to Butler. Just five on the clock. From downtown. And the basket by Rozier. Rozier's got five points so far. And this is why Rozier's out there. Uh, he knows he has the trust of his teammates to take that shot. Young finds Hunter. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Outside Butler to the right side. The pass to Rozier. Outside Robinson. Pulls it up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. So when we're talking about team identity, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. That's good from Rozier. And Smitty, here we have Atlanta consistently knocking on the door in a crowded Eastern Conference. You know, Kevin, they have added talent. Unfortunately, so has the rest of the conference. But Atlanta's still young, and they have room to grow. And the Hawks making a change here. Matthews has checked in. Good on both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. 
Murray outside. Pass to Hunter. Elbow shot is on the way. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. And whatever coach told them coming out of the locker room, they're listening. Five out of five already. Here's Autobio. And Capella sends it back. We've been spoiled by watching Clint Capella do this for years and years. He's such a skilled defender. Murray outside. Addition out to Hunter. The Hawks working the ball around. A three from Bogdanovich. Bogdan, and again, Bogdan. Atlanta with the triple. Three. And how about the start they've gotten off to? They haven't missed once. Rozier into the lane. Two points. That one goes. Rozier's got nine. He's a good better than me. Even amongst the trees, Rozier has such confidence in his ability to finish. Here's Bogdanovich. And Capella with the basket on the assist from Bogdanovich. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's Rozier, and it's Miami with another. Encouraging to see Rozier drain that one. You know it has to help his confidence moving forward. Capella kicks to Matthews. Moment here to check out some of the stats of Murray and his playmaking ability, unquestioned. One of the top 15 assist men in our league. And talk about being top 10 in steals. I love his jumping the passing lanes and then stealing away your dribble. The first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. So Rozier will bring it up for the Miami Heat. They trail by seven. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And a lot of that was game plan. Putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of it. Capella with the bucket. He is active on the offensive glass. Clint Capella will punish you for not putting a body on him. Autobio passes to Robinson. Now Rogier. Four on the clock, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And let's check out a group of shooting guards that have been doing some dirty work inside lately, averaging the most rebounds per game at their position over the last 10 games. Bogdan Bogdanovich, fourth. Well, it's not easy to do what these players have done in that area, strictly because of positioning. I mean, typically a two-guard, you're not in tight when a shot goes up, so competing for rebounds is that much more difficult. It just illustrates the level of effort that the guys on that list play with every night. They're willing to do all the things to help their teams win. And rebounding is a big part of it. Shots good by Butler. Excellent touch from deep. Jimmy Butler looking more comfortable from this area. Rozier against Murray. Here's Capella. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And boy, are they attacking the paint. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. And one of the great rebounders in this league, Clint Capella, plays that role as well as anyone. Greg, on a per-minute basis, few players are better. Sharp anticipation, works at it, and many of his points come from the offensive glass. Here's Murray. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. And it's Murray. That time on the assist by Hunter. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. 
Now, here's Rogier. 11 points in the game. Butler on the wing. Capella covering. It's stolen by Capella. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Here's Bogdanovich, and the shot is good. And it's a 10-point Hawks lead. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Rozier the pass to Jovic. Here's Heisman. And Capella sends it back. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Trey Young. Here's Murray. 32 points for him last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Rozier kicks to Robinson. Butler against Bogdanovich. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And for Jimmy Butler, who's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs to be. Jimmy Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. That free throw good from Butler. One thing I love about Jimmy Butler and his defense, he works the passing lanes. He'll make a play on the defensive end that leads straight to points. And so Butler nails both of them. Atlanta leading by 10. Murray's surveying the D, and he comes up with the deuce. Murray's got six. Miami's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Paquez, the pass to Butler. And he finishes nicely on the way. He's got nine. Jimmy Butler doesn't need a play call for him to make an impact. He's willing to do the dirty work. Hawks passing it around. And it's Murray with the jam. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. numbers for DeAndre Hunter how his last 10 games have gone he's getting around 16 points a game five rebounds and two assists but to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team because he gives you someone to build your offense around you can count on his nightly production now here's Murray he's got eight here's Hunter it's rebounded by Jovic and you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Martin, the lead now in single digits. What determination from Martin. Just powering his way through the D. Outside Matthews. Pass to Hunter. 
takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the way up. And 11 points for DeAndre Hunter. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That one falls. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. And it goes down two points. And the Hawks lead by 10. Building up a big early lead. They have charge of this game. The play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now, Hero. 17 points for him last game against Toronto. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Hunter, no one around him. Another three for Atlanta. His shot-making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. One ten left to play in the first quarter. Hero, that's a two-pointer, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Hero's got his second bucket of the night. That's his signature move, Tyler Hero, using the screen to create just enough separation. And that one's good, Hunter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Now, Hero... And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Here's Jovic. Banked in off the glass. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Matthews passes to Fernando. Matthews against Martin. And Matthews gets it to go. Yeah, they, they have gone full Bruno throttle Fernando. from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Hero, that's a two-pointer, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Hero's got six points. DeAndre Hunter, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Atlanta. He kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a master quarter. We come back right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. The Heat trail by nine. This is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second quarter. We've got Bogdan Bogdanovic. Trey Young is out there with Matthews. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Fernando in at the four slot. Here's Young. The Heat getting the bucket. This is it to Fernando. Got a piece of it. Pocket six. Robinson pulls it in. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Here's Young. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. It's good. Young's got his third basket of the night. My. Goodness, what a move there to lose the defender. Got him on his heels, and then he made it look easy from there on in. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room and coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Uh, does it matter where you're from, uh, Greg, your background? Uh, you got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. The Hawks leading by five. And here's Young. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Here's Fernando. 
And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. We know this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Now, here's Butler. He picked up 15 points in their last one against Toronto. So many ways Jimmy Butler can score, and they all are showing up tonight. Here's Fernando. Back to Young. Uncovered, and the basket Trey is good. Young. Eight points for Trey Young. Bruno Talented, Fernando. driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. There's the pass to Autobahn. Outside Butler. Here's Hockett. And the Heat get another bucket right there. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And Matthews gets it to go in on the assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by seven. Rogier kicks to Adebayo. Robinson passes to Rogier. And the Heat another three. I like that pass from Duncan Robinson, keeping his eyes up and his options open. Young passes to Capella. He lobs it up. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular, never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Rogier for three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The Hawks leading by six. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second Trey quarter. Young. That one goes. Count it. So smooth with it from the mid-range. Trey Young just a fantastic score. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal score. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. And Miami making a change here. Highsmith is checked in. And Trey Young may have taken it personally that he was drafted What's fifth in that use? stacked 2018 draft. And GA, that draft was full of superstars. But you're right, he's played the most NBA games out of the top five picks in that draft. Cranes the three pointer. Rozier's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Heat. Oh, that's number two for him from long range in the quarter, his third overall. Young passes to Capella. Here's Bogdanovich. Another shot. And Capella with the layup. Capella's got eight points. Very adaptable. Capella knew that shot was going to be contested and made the subtle adjustment. Pass to Butler. Here's Heist. Capella covering. Bogdanovich looking around. Young passes to Bogdanovich. Here's Fernando. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Indiana. We can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. Rozier, good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Rozier's got 19 points. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. Defeated by the Pacers in the last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Here, Jovic is checked in. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. 
Take a look at the Heat. They're good enough for eighth place in the conference right now. Looking to hold on to that. And, of course, Atlanta, a couple spots below. And right now for Miami, they had much bigger things in mind when the season started. They didn't think of themselves as a middle-of-the-road club, but right now, that's where they are. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Here's Rozier. After the basket by Bogdan Bogdanovich. Here's Butler. Yep, that one goes in there. Butler's got six in the quarter. That's a fantastic dribble move from Butler. He's extremely confident with his dribble. Fernando, the pass to Young. Six to shoot. It's Matthews on the wing. A three. Another three for Atlanta. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? This perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. Rozier the pass to Jovic. Dishes to Robinson. Oh, that's blocked. Bogdanovich against Butler. Matthews passes to Capella. Young with the ball. Pass to Bogdanovich. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Heat. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Now Bogdanovich after Jimmy Butler missed from long range. And Bogdanovich kicks to Matthews. Fernando, the pass to Matthews. Cans it from downtown. Matthews. Matthews has got 12. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Robinson passes to Rozier. Over Young. Miami no good on that time either. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just lets basically whiffs on that. He gets that one. In terms of playmaking, Trey is as good as they come. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Heat. It's an 18-point game. Pass to Highsmith. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And there's the pass to Young. Shoots from the baseline. It's rebounded by Jovic. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. This is his first free throw of the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And the Heat with some changes. Martin's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Hero comes in for Robinson. And it's DeLon right in for Rozier. And he makes both free throws. Atlanta leading by 14. Murray with the bounce pass. Bogdanovich, that's for two, and he Bogdan, hits the jump shot. Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got six here in this quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Jovic passes to Highsmith. Shot clock at five. There's Hero with the three. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. This is why Hero is a volume three-point shooter. He's so effective from deep. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. What's up? And nice to see the strong inside game shooting for playing this quarter. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Bam Adebayo is checked in for Miami. One shot.
What impresses me is the efficiency of Bogey's game. He works so hard to develop that consistency. Austin Martin. Here's Jovic. Heat moving the ball around. Two There's the steal. The Hawks leading by 16. Pass to Krejci. Hunter on the wing. It's a hand on it, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got 10. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Now here's Wright. An 11-point game for him in the win against Toronto. And he really made an impact defensively. His four steals were huge. Martin wide open. He fires. And again, Miami with the triple. The quick release has become league-wide. Caleb Martin can certainly let it fly. Bogdanovich against Martin. Bogdanovich dishes to Hunter. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Martin with it. And guarded by Capella. Martin goes in. It's good. Martin's got five points in the quarter. Aggressive move by Caleb Martin. Having to get by the contact there. Here's Krejci. He's covered by Hero. And the basket by Krejci. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Over in the corner, Hero. And again, Miami with the triple. Look at the speed of Hero's shot, keeping him ahead of the defender so they can't block it. Murray finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. He's got 10. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense is giving me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and rolls, things like that. We've got to continue to do it. And... Uh, Make them pick their poison, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. What a start it was for DeAndre Hunter. He had 16 points and two assists. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Hawks? They're just pulling down rebounds at will. Their aggressiveness has been dynamite, flying in from all angles. With rebounding, you assume that everything is a miss, and obviously, they've taken that to Hawks. Jack, let's get your insight on Miami. When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. Disorganization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected Man, to the shoes. Give a big round of applause to your heat and that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Nice game. Great performance by Terry Rozier. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Rozier is out there with Wright. And there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. 
And it's Jovic in at the power forwards position. So that's who Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Hunter. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And examining his numbers this season, we can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter right around 85. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Highsmith has checked in, and it's Duncan Robinson in for DeLon Wright. The future of DeAndre Hunter is bright. A versatile player who wants to be great, in my opinion. Passes to Highsmith. Butler against Bogdanovich. Robinson on the wing. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. These players have been all about defense lately. Here are the steel leaders in the NBA this month. DeJounte Murray, fourth. Really been fantastic defensively this run for him. He's had more than his share of steals and now he's looking to get more. Now, here's Hunter. Shoots from 12. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades past. So would I. He says that would suit his game. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first. Who's going to quit first? That's the style of basketball I like to play. Kevin? Uh, yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. Here's Young. Jimmy Butler making his last shot over Rozier. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Hawks lead by 16. Three out of four coming out of the half. Showing good execution on the offensive end. And out of Bio throws it down. Bam. Using his athleticism there. Bam out of Bio knows when to go get an alley -oop. And recently, Smitty, we've seen Bam out of Bio step it up on the offensive end. Greg is always excited to see a great player take it to another level. He's obviously even more comfortable than ever attacking the hoop. And here is Rogier. Following the three from Bogdan Bogdanovich. Here's Butler, and Capella sends it back. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Hawks have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. First one falls for him. I respect the resolve of Trey Young. When the game gets tough, he stays strong. When the defense goes at him, he comes back at them. He doesn't back off. And so Young nails them both. The Heat trail by 19. Outside Butler, back to Rozier. Into the lane, and there's the slow dunk to finish it off. We've seen Butler develop his passing game over the years. Here's Young. 11 feet out, and he hits Trey it. Young. Young's got four points in the quarter. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. The pass to Autobio. Butler against Bogdanovich. <laughs> A basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. DeAndre Hunter. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First in what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. Matthews, he's checked in for Atlanta. One shot. Free throw, good Butler. 
Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Young pass to Hunter. And it's Miami with the rebound. Pass to Highsmith. And stolen by Hunter. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Good awareness from Hunter. Puts himself in a position to finish that play. Bounce pass from Rogier. And finished off by Robinson. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Rozier against Young. He dishes it to Hunter. Murray outside. Another three for Atlanta. The percentages from range aren't there yet for Murray, but his confidence never seems to waver. Here's Rozier. Rejected by Young. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. And the dunk by Capella. Look at that athletic play by Clint Capella, leaping up with enough airtime to grab it and slam it. To the inside. Here's Autobio. And Capella sends it back. Here's Hunter. It's hauled in by Bam Autobio. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. No doubt about it, he has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Here's Murray, and he gets it to go. Murray's got five points in the quarter. Given Murray's slight frame, you think physical defense would bother him more. It doesn't. Robinson kicks to Rozier. Puts it up for Adebayo, and Capella sends it back. And that'll be Miami as it goes out of bounds. The Heat retain possession, and the Heat call time here. And Coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now, rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Checked in for Robinson. And a quick review looking at some numbers here for Trey Young. Putting up about 25 points per game, 10 assists, and two rebounds. And he is such a huge part of what this team does on offense. Yes, night in and night out, he's their go to option. He accepts that responsibility and thrives at it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Steve, one thing you love about Murray, that ability to change a game with just his defense. Greg, between his awareness and his quickness, he's an impact defender. He's active. He's got great anticipation. Just what you want in a perimeter defender. Free throw good, Murray. And a guy who fills up the stat sheet across the board, Steve. DeJounte Murray. His length and athleticism shows up at both ends, Kevin. A good rebounder for a guard. And beyond the numbers, he comes up with some clutch plays. And so Murray nails both of them. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Inside. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Hero produces across the board. Some guys have potential, others just get it done. Here's Murray. Money 
from the wing. Murray's got nine points now in just the second half. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. Butler. That one falls coming off Adebayo's feet. Adebayo's got his third assist on the night. Young pass to Murray. He kicks it to Hunter. Pass to Matthews. This one for three. Buries it from three-point range. Matthews has got his second bucket tonight. Look at the pass from Hunter. Wanting to get his teammates involved. Back to Rozier. And it's Miami with another. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. Young pass to Murray. Shoots over Hero. Again, the Hawks, good for two. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. To the middle, here's Adebayo, and he lays it straight in. Adebayo's got six points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Young dishes to Hunter. And that one, good. Hunter's got 25 points in the game. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Here's Rozier, and that one drops for him. Oh, nice floater there by Rozier. And he's just 6-1, and that's a shot he has to have to take on the shot blockers. Now, here's Hunter. 25 points in the game. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. Three-pointer. That's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Matthews with the steal. To the paint. And it's Young, Trey that Young. time on the assist by Matthews. By 22 Matthews. points for Trey Young. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Atlanta. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And they've also forced a lot of turnovers, capitalizing and turning those turnovers into points. Way to get after Count the Murray. basket. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Down low. Passes it to Hawkes. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Hawkes has got eight. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And that one's good. DeAndre Hunter. Hunter. Showing how effective he can be. Once DeAndre Hunter gets rolling, look out. Now, here's a look at the last few months of assist numbers for DeJounte Murray. One aspect of his game that's suffered the past few months has been his passing. He hasn't shown that same creativity with the basketball that we've Shoot seen two. from him earlier in the season. And his assists are way down because of it. That's good from Rogier. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rogier gets better. You, you see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Jovic is checked in, and Martin subbed in for Jimmy Butler. And both free throws, good for Rogier. 124 left in the third. Young outside, and here's Matthews from the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Eight points for him. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please, that's terrible. Here's Rozier, makes good on the step back jumper. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Unloads from 13. Basket is good, he'll get a chance for one more at the line. Aggressive move by Hunter, showing the power, the body control. This is why he was drafted number four overall. The Hawks have shot the ball well from the free throw line, eight of nine. The Heat making a switch here. White's checked in, and the Hawks making a change here as well. 
Bogdanovich has checked in. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for Miami. And the pass to Hero. Kicks to Martin. Pass to Jovich. And the Heat, another three. Good communication. Then Martin recognizing and making a great pass. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Young pass to Hunter. Here's Fernando, and it's good for two. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Fernando. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And that one misses. Outside, Hero. Launches it. That one doesn't go. And so it's Atlanta in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And so in the game for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter out there with Bogdanovich. Then it's Young. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Krejci in at the two-guard position. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Duncan Robinson. That's foul number two for him. And with the new CBA, Greg, free agent conversations can start basically the day the NBA Finals conclude. Do you like that move? I, I think it's good to have rules that teams will actually follow. In the past, it was July 1st, and let's be honest, teams were talking to players well before that. And Miami making a change here. Highsmith has checked in. The Heat shooting an almost unfair 78% from the field. Outside, Martin. Pass to Robinson. Nailed from three-point land. You have to run Robinson off his shots or he will light you up. Young pass to Hunter. Let's it fly. Open and close and nailed it. Hunter's got 16 points here in the second half. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Good touch from Robinson inside. The D can't let him get this deep. Now, here is Young. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now Capella. From six away. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And Wright kicks to Robinson. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Young. Good work there as it goes. Young. Young's got 24 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Right, the pass to Hawkes. Here's Heisman. 
and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Craig is a guy that led the offense of four general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guard? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But Take a break. this era Take a break. is deep. You, you got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant, and, of course, CP3 is still going. And he makes the first. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. The Hawks making a switch here. Murray's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And here's Young from the arc. Another three timeout. for Atlanta. Three. Got to know the scouting report with Start Trey Young. Timeout. He's going to make a number of threes if you're not careful. Now a timeout called by Miami. One of the stories here, DeAndre Hunter getting it done today. Yeah, he's just torching them right now. A good decision to huddle up, kind of hit the reset button, and figure out how to slow his roll. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. The pass to Highsmith. And he drives in. Good on the bucket. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. To the paint. And Bogdanovich, the bucket on the assist by Murray. Assist goes to Murray's got four assists now tonight. Rozier against Young. Adebayo passes to Butler. Over Bogdanovich, and another basket for Miami. He usually lives in the paint, but you can't give him the mid-range. He'll knock it down. Pass to Capella. Inside, here's Hunter. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Hunter's got four points now in the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Outside, Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got four assists in the game. When you look at the three-point numbers from Duncan Robinson, they will show you he is an elite player from deep. Now, here is Young. Here's Capella. Great D that time from Adebayo. Deep two from Robinson. And there's another one for the Heat. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. It's tipped, and so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. Butler against Bogdanovich. Again, the Hawks, good for two. Bogdanovich is a productive scorer who excels on and off the ball. Robinson passes to Autobio. And here is Rogier. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Rogier's got 34. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Here's Hunter. Good. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Floats one up. Adebayo, a good finish at the rack off the slick feet. 
Adebayo. Eight points for Pam Adebayo. From Jimmy Butler. Murray, the pass to Hunter. Back to Murray. Solid play in the DeJounte low block, and that one's Murray. good. And the Hawks lead by 20. And DeJounte is not holding back tonight. He is calling his own number. Here's Adebayo. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Rozier against Young. Loads it up for Adebayo. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Robinson against Murray. Pass to Capella. He kicks it to Hunter. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Hunter's got eight points in the quarter. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Butler against Bogdanovich. And Butler gets it to go. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Young finds Murray. Here's Hunter. Passes to Capella. Over Adebayo. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got four rebounds in this game. Smith's shot is off. The Hawks leading by 18. In the corner, Murray with it. Back to Bogdanovich. Good, and the Bogdan assist goes to Murray. Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich has got nine points DeJounte now in just the second Murray. half. Now the pass to Rozier. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And again, Miami with the triple. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. And it's Murray DeJounte with the team. Very underrated. DeJounte Murray. Key for this team. Pass to Butler. 13 feet away. Again, the Heat, Shit. good for two. Me. And boy, he's Butler. really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Capella. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. It's a big night for Clint Capella so far. He's playing competitive ball and finding his shot. Here's Heisman. Uses the glass to finish the way. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Steps back and fires. And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. To the middle. Highsmith, the pass to Robinson. And Rozier, here we go. Count it. Rozier's got 36. And when Rozier goes on the drive, He's relentless. Even the contact can't throw off his shot. Pass to Bogdanovich. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. He's got 25. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Now, here is Young after Terry Rozier's miss to the inside. It's stolen by Adebayo. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. Yeah. I love Me. the tenacity and aggressiveness Butler. as well as the ability From to close. Bay. You really got to give it up here for Atlanta. The coaching staff must be happy that they control their turnovers so well in this game. Excellent self-control and patience tonight. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for DeAndre Hunter. You love to see this kind of leadership. Directing traffic, keeping everyone happy. He was the straw that stirred the drink.
and the Heat going with a whole new group on the floor. And that one falls for Young. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Greg, that's done, so what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding into Las Vegas, and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. Now, here is Young. 44 seconds left in the fourth. Fernando, the pass to Matthews. Just four to shoot. Low block shot. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. The clock now can just run out for the Hawks. Here's Krejci. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. That's the to come NBA. into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight Thank says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Trey, leadership is such a key part of that point guard position, so what do you focus on with that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and uh, I think that's where it starts with off the court, because that translates on. Yeah, you guys look like a tight-knit group right now, man. Congrats on the win. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.